So a really important part of working safely on a rooftop or any facility for that matter is the personal protection equipment. Today we're using personal RF monitors to measure the EME levels to ensure safety and we're testing the new Radman 2 that has a monitoring mode and a detection mode. I've got mine switched on to make sure this area is safe but Tony can you tell me how we start the Radmans up and do a self check to validate it's working and then how we use it in a facility like this? Yes Mike. So to turn on the Radman you just push one button press. It goes through a self test and a battery test and when that's complete it goes into monitoring mode. That one, that, that we do. So that, in the same way as Mike's unit, is detecting the levels around us. And a simple test is to use another radio source like a good Kentucky to verify that it's operating. You can see there that it is operating. I'm going to test with Mike's. So that's a good verification that the device is operating correctly. Then to move to detection mode, a simple double button press will allow you to then use this device to test whether an antenna is operating. And it has a different audible sound when you put an antenna near it. It's quite loud. It is, it's quite good. And so we'll demonstrate shortly with it mounted on a pole up in front of the antennas to test whether the antennas are active. A simple way to check if an antenna is active is to use the Radman with its extension handle but tape it onto an extension pole. The Radman's set to detection mode which has that fast response and that fast audible alarm and Tony will just check it's still working. So that's still sounding okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to raise the pole up to the front of the antenna and then see if it's active. So I'm going to raise the, I'm going to raise the Radman up in front of the 4G antenna and we're going to see if it's active. We should be able to hear the alarm sound. You can just hear the alarm sounding and below the antenna there is no EME approaching occupational limits below the antenna. So if I was climbing up to inspect the feeders, this is a really good way of testing whether the antenna is active and the areas I can safely work. And the same applies whether you're working on a tower, a pole, or even a small cell on an electricity pole.